Disclaimer. This video's information is being provided for informational, educational, and general interest purposes only. The information in this video is not intended to shock, enrage, or otherwise provoke the viewer. The sole purpose of this video was to raise awareness of true crime-related events. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. January 26, 2017, 16, 28, 10. So bad. Cleveland 911 dispatcher Malave, do you need please fire ambulance? Uh, please. What's the location where you need the police? Uh, 3427 East 149th Street. 3427 East 149. Is that a single family up down in an apartment? Apartment. What apartment are you in? Apartment one. And your name? Darnisha Cooper. Darnisha, what's your phone number? 216-233-7069. What's going on over there in uh, 149, Darnisha? Um, I, I want to report him as a child. How old is the child? 14. Mm, what's the child's name? Aliana the Freeze. Uh, spell her first name for me. A-L-I-A-N-N-A. And so the last name? D E F R E E Z E. The freeze, gotcha. And is Eliana black, white, or Hispanic, female? Black. And what's her birthday? Six twelve oh two. Okay, has she ever done this before? No. I put her on the RTA this morning to go see. They give her bus tickets, and she knows to eat her right down the street from the police station. And you know, I gave her, uh, I put her on the bus, and she just gets on the 10th at the school. And she said, she, I called the school because I had a, uh, a parent conference, and they said she never checked in for school. What time did you put her on the RTA? It was about 6.38 when the bus came down. You know, you know, you know that time. You said it's 6.30 this morning? Yes. What school uh, did she go to? East Prep. Yeah, on 93rd Union. East 93rd and say it, Union? Yeah, 93rd and Union. Okay, you're crying. It's, uh, I know you're upset. You're crying. It's a little hard. Uh, and she never made it to school this morning at all? No. And they usually get out a phone call if the child doesn't come to school, but I didn't get a phone call. Okay. So that's why I didn't call until just now. Okay. All right. Well, she's trying to get his own car over to you now. What was she seeing? What was she wearing when you last seen her? Um, brown coat and her East Prep uniform. What kind? What is it? Like a blue polo shirt and khaki pants, or what was she wearing? No, it's black pants. Um, in between a black sweater. Tell me what color is our sweater? What color is our sweater? Is it green or black? Sweater, black pants? Yes. Okay. Has she ever done this before? No. She's never ran away before or did this, you know, nothing like this before? No. Okay. She's trying to get his own car over to you now. Um, if anything happens or if you hear back, give us a call back because we're going to have an officer come make a report for you, okay? Okay, thank you. All right, bye-bye. Start off by you giving your name, address. Uh -huh. uh, you just start off. Yes. Yeah. Start your first name. L I Q U. Uh, Last name. Williams. Your home address. Eighty nine. Social.
You know the little girl who was found in the house down the street from you. We're going to talk about that, the Fergus and the scrapyard. Mm-hmm. And anything else you you know or remember about um, the suspect, um, Christopher Whip. <coughs> That's all I know. He's called um, him scrapping. He's, you, who's he? Uh, I don't even know. The big dog. Okay. And that's the guy who you saw on TV as the suspect mm-hmm. in that case. All right. So you know him as Big Dog. And you saw him Wednesday before the little girl was um, reported missing? Yeah, Wednesday. He was over there a week and a half before all that happened. Over it's where? In house. Next door. And he came to your house? Mm-hmm. Tell me about that. He would just come in, knocking on the door, asking for something to eat or something to drink. A couple of times he asked me to take him to the scrapyard. And that was about it. All right. And you took him to the scrapyard? I took him to the scrapyard. What, what day? Wednesday and Thursday. Where'd you take Wednesday? I don't know. What he had, all the stuff was piled up in the van. When I got in, everything was already piled up in the van. He put it in the van. Uh, him and Durham, they was out there picking stuff in there. All right. Did um, Ter- Terrence help? Mm-hmm. No. He ain't helped with this stuff in there. I think, uh, I don't know. I was still upstairs. Okay. So, Wednesday, what scrapyard did you go to? No, I'm at All right. My understanding is two on Uh, I don't know. You you went though, right? You drove mm-hmm. on there. Yeah. What did it look like? I sat in the car. They just was taking everything out and was throwing it in the yard. What did the scrapyard look like? Uh, it's blue. The building is blue. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, I thought the big building was blue. I don't know. Okay. They got the little things to hang down, the little uh, clear things to hang down before when you're walking in. They got little plastic things hanging down. I think it's gray, blue, white. And the I mean, things hanging down are inside the building? They outside, like hanging down. Like Christmas decorations? No, you know, like the plastic little shanders, like they be having, like when you go into the meat market, they got the little heavy little plastic things hanging down. Before you go to the back entrance, like, oh, no, it's like real thick plastic, like they hang it down, like they don't have a door, they just hang it down, you walk straight through there. Oh, like a car wash kind of thing? Yeah, like them little things, you just walk straight through there. Alright, and Thursday you went? Also, to the same scrapyard? Mm-hmm. And what street is it on? Atlanta. All right. What'd you have that day? I don't know what was all in there. Okay. I don't. I don't remember what was in there. I know they had a whole bunch of stuff. It was a whole bunch of stuff. All right. What, how'd you Everything get there? was all in the driveway. How'd you when get I woke there? up, it was in the driveway, and I went back upstairs, laid down there. Daryl came upstairs and was like, uh, Big Daughter said, Can you take him to the scrapyard? And I said, yeah, go ahead, put the stuff in the car. And they was putting the stuff in the car. By the time I came down, I jumped in the car and we left. All right, did he pay you? Mm-hmm. Right. He gave me $10 for gas. Well, each day? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, have you ever seen him before? Mm-hmm. All right. And, and, um, my first time since when he just came over there to work on the house, to fix on the house. So two and a half weeks, and you never seen him over there before? Mm-hmm. But everybody say he's from around there. I don't be all around there. I go to the store and I go back home. So I don't know who from where. Right. Your daughter tell you she saw him that Thursday? Mm-hmm. She told she, me that he uh, told her, I'm going to watch you walk to the bus stop. But her bus was already right there. So she got straight on the bus. And her bus, bus stop is where? On the corner of Fuller. And um, Terrence does scrapping. He buys scrap. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they bring it to the house and he'll buy it off of them. He'll give them like 10 sometimes $15, depending on how much stuff they got. Mm-hmm. 
And then who takes it to the scrap yard? Right? He do. Yeah. He who? Terrence do. Yeah. And you and Terrence are legally married? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, so you only seen um, him. He came over your house. He was playing with your kids? Mm-hmm. Playing with my nieces and nephews and my kids. All right. Did you ever think anything was weird about him? Mm -hmm. You ever seen him on drugs, drinking? Mm -hmm. He was acting normal, like a regular normal person. It's just that Saturday he was just panicking, like he was he was acting weird. That Which Saturday? Saturday? Um, Saturday that that following week. That Saturday he was just acting real strange, like I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta get from over here. So, is that are you talking about the Saturday before they found um, yeah. her body? Mm -hmm. And he said what? He was acting real strange, like I gotta go, I gotta get from over here. Like that's the first time I seen them freak out like that. He asked to use my phone and called a ride, and he got picked up and left. So the number is still me, in your phone? He was asking me if I can take him, uh, take him to um, Mayfield, Mayfield Heights, I think, and he was going to get $20, $25 or whatever. And I'm like, uh-uh, I ain't about to go that far. No, I don't do that. And he called. You know what number he called? I don't remember. We was were trying to figure it out. I was walking my phone. I don't even remember. I ain't checked behind him. That's Saturday at what time? Uh, we came back from T's basketball game about 3, 3.30. You used your phone about 3.30? I think so. Is your call log still there? No, it, it delete calls on its own depending on how long it be in there. Like every seven days it deleted. If I don't say the number. Okay. Do you know who picked but him up? But he called Will to come pick him up. He called Will? Mm -hmm. Will came and picked him up. You know Will's last name? Mm -mm. No. no. I just know Will from being at the studio. The studio used to be down there on Fuller. Describe where the studio was. Is it burnt down, right? Yeah, city certified. It was a barbershop right, right next door, and it was apartments upstairs. So if you walk down your street towards 93rd. Mm -hmm. The there, studio was right there across the street. Straight ahead across straight the street. Across oh. the street. Yep. Okay. And it's just a vacant lot now? Yep. Mm -hmm. Have you um, ever been in that house where um, mm -hmm. the girl was found? Never. Never, ever. Mm -hmm. You know Will uh, Terrence has been in there? Mm-hmm. You didn't know that. No, I know for sure Terrence never been in the house. He said he was in there. He went in there? Mm -hmm. I know about a couple months, probably a couple months ago, but I don't think recently. Anything else you can tell me about um, uh, Big Dog, what he told you or what he said to you? You know, the, on the ride to the scrapyard, he was saying something about he just got out of jail for murder and he wasn't trying to go back. Which day? And was that, that was on that Wednesday. That was that Wednesday. Okay. He said, uh, "I just got out of jail for murder and I ain't trying to go back." Then he was like, "I've been in prison too long. I kept on unlocking the doors." Why would he say I just got out of jail? Why would he tell you that? That's what he thought. I just got out for murder and I ain't trying to go back. Did he tell you who he murdered or where? Mm -hmm. Nope. I was just driving. Like, let me hurry up and get home. He's talking about he just got off of murder. And you said at one point you saw him with a birth certificate? He showed me a birth certificate that Saturday before he was leaving. He was sitting on the porch waiting on the ride. And he put out a birth certificate and showed me his birth certificate. I ain't really paid, paid the name or attention. I was just looking at it because he said that uh, they come shorter now. I know they used to be long. And he had a real short one, and it said Tennessee at the top. That's all I remember. I thought, uh, I thought you said that you saw the name Calvin or something? I saw the word Calvin on the, uh, when I was reading the news. I think Calvin. Okay. Um, so at some point, you guys were all talking about the missing girl, and he was there. No, he wasn't there when we was. You, you weren't driving, and um, Terrence was reading you flyer about a miss, the missing girl and you guys kind of discussed. No, that. he was helping my sister move is when they seen the flyer. Right. And he was in the car with them. I wasn't in the car. You weren't in the car? No. 
And they said something about he told them, grab two of them. I wasn't in the car at the time. I had just found out she was missing that Sunday. The, the Sunday when, she was found? Mm-hmm. That's when uh, they came back and was talking about it. Or was No, no, it wasn't Sunday. It was Friday. He helped her move Friday. Yeah, Friday. Yep. He didn't ever say anything to you about the little girl? Mm-mm. No. Why was he watching, watching your daughter go down the street? Did he say why? No. I never had knew that he watched her walk down the street. She never told me. And so all this had popped up. She never even told me he walked, watched her walk down the street. Okay. Anything else you can think of? And I, 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 I'm assuming because you're pregnant with twins that you weren't helping them move or anything. Oh, like no. That. Mm -hmm. Just know. because you were in a car, do you mind if I get your DNA? You can. You you don't have a problem with You have the right to refuse. Okay. It's totally up to you. You're okay with that? Mm -hmm. So this is all nowhere. I sit in the house. <laughs> this is the consent. You're going to put your name here, read this. It's just going to say, I'm going to take swabs. Or write my name right here. Yeah, right. All right, and then you're going to read that. It says you have the right to refuse, that you're voluntarily giving it to swabs. You're going to sign it and date it. Today is February 8th. Oh, I picked the date in the last spot. Nope, that's fine. You got gum in your mouth? Mm hmm. Take it out. Mm hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, you have any more kids after this? Uh mm hmm. You done? I'm done. <laughs> you gonna get your tooth signed? No, I ain't gonna get my tooth signed. I'm gonna just be on birth control. Mm -hmm. Because you might want to have some. Yeah, the five year, I'm gonna get the five year plan. <laughs> How old are you? 27. Oh, yeah, you're still young. Because <laughs> by the time you get, I mean, your kids will be grown almost, and you yes, still be able right. to have kids. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. But they ain't trying to be 40, you still trying to have kids. <laughs> I hear you. Okay, I'm going to have you sign here. You're going to start on the white and sign all the way over onto the red. Date L I Q U I Y A. How you pronounce that? La Quia. La Quia. Just like it sounds. Like it sounds. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate you coming right. down. You can go feed them babies now. Two All girls, right. honey. Yep. You're going to have four girls and one boy. Oh, boy, yes. They're going to be spoiled. Yep. Yeah. They're going to be mad. You're going to go right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm When you saw him on, um, when you saw him Wednesday and Thursday, what was he wearing? Uh, I know he had on some real dirty jeans. They mm -hmm. was dirty. They was real dirty. And some brown boots. And he just had on a dark blue jacket. He always got in a dark blue jacket. Both days? Yeah. He never changed his clothes since he was there. Dark blue coat. Mm-hmm. Dirty blue jeans, some dirty blue lights. Uh, yeah, they were supposed to be dark. light, but they was dirty. They was light blue jeans, but they was real dirty. 
For some brown boots. What kind of boots? They look like some construction worker boots. One of them was, uh, the sole was hanging out. Like it was open. And he got some clothes? Huh? And um, Terrence sold Yeah, he clothes. asked him for some clothes, yeah. Do you, do you know what clothes he got? He had got a jersey mm -hmm. and some jeans. They weren't dark or like, they was like in between. It was like a long sleeve dark blue jersey. It was gray and white. He came that Friday and got the uh, clothes. Because T was telling him, like, because he kept on saying he didn't like to be dirty. He wanted to take a shower and stuff. So T was like, I got some clothes in the basement. You know, you want to get them. This was, and this was like Monday or Tuesday. What did, what did he do with the clothes he took off? I know he left with a bag. Okay. He never had no bag when he first got there. But when he left, he left with a bag. He had a sable out bag. You think he put his clothes in there? Yeah, I think his clothes and stuff was in that bag. Okay, so he took them with them. And yeah. you look in your van and it's not in there? Mm-mm. All right. Um, was his coat? Um, he still had his coat on. Okay. Did you notice any blood? Mm -hmm. Did you notice any angry. injuries to him? No, I ain't really look at him like that. He didn't have no bandages. When he came to sit down, he was just sitting there with his head down, like, just waiting on his ride and was covering his face. All right, thank you.
So you you are running it and running it around the gray. The homicide unit. And we're just gonna talk about what you know about that furnace and um, uh, what? the furnace and Christopher Whitaker. I need you to give your name. Terrence Rush. Your date of birth? 2017. Your uh, home address? All about the little girl who was found down the street at Joe down on Fuller. Yes. All right. And you you know the mail because you said you saw him on TV. Yeah, I know. Yes. And when you saw him on TV, you told me the other day that that um he been playing, he had, he been playing with the kids, man. Yeah, and been in your house. So so tell me about that. Tell me about that. Him. Like, like um for real, I really just met him like a year ago because he even comes to the studio. He was like the security, like when they do like, like when they did that one, um, like a Bella Web show or whatever, he'd be like security or something. Where's the studio at? The studio burned down. Where was it at? The studio was on the um, corner of Fuller, right there. Which corner? On Fuller, the one that just tore down. I'm not familiar. So the church is here. What one? What church? On my side? Yeah. It's on the other side. It's on the other side of 93rd? Like, no, um, our, no, I watched the previous right there with the four, I don't know, one church at. Mm -hmm. But it's off the street, it's another church. Okay, so it's on the other side of 93rd? Yes, but it's off the street from the church on this side. Okay. On the right hand side. All right, do you know that address? No. We okay. they just tried to build him now. All right, and you've been knowing him a year. How well do you know him? Not that very well. It's just, um, my brother been talking to him, you know, how I'm securing um, the spot he do battles at, whatever. He do what? Like, when my brother did the battle belt thing last year, mm -hmm. he was the security. So we didn't met up, uh, knew him from my brother and the owner of that building, Bill. That I really okay. met him. All right. Like, um, sometimes I see him, sometimes I don't. The only time I would see him when, they, when I come to the studio, when he comes to the studio or something like that. Okay, and the studio burned down when? The last month. Last month. Yeah, the one that been on the nose. The building, the whole apartment building got a car on fire. I, I, I know. Yeah, I don't keep up with the news all the time. I, I don't watch the news either. Yeah. All right. So, um, the you told me that um, you saw him Wednesday. Tell me about Wednesday, the day before. Um, Wednesday. Um, we woke up and we know. Um, he had some. Um, we took him to the, my wife took him to the shop yard that day. To on Wednesday. What's your wife's name? La Cria. About what time? I ain't sure. Morning, yeah. evening, night. It gotta be evening. Evening. What's she take him in? Um, our van. What kind of van? Um, the Montana, Montana. What color is it? Gray. All right. Did she go with him along? Um, Boogie. Who's Boogie? No, um, Daryl. Lemon. Daryl? Yeah. How do you know Daryl? That's her cousin. Oh, that's your wife's cousin? My wife's cousin. All right. Um... So what else happened Wednesday? Um, shop yard. Um, what else? He's been at the house chilling. He talking about he been hungry, so we fed him. That's what we been doing most of the time. He been over there anyway, feeding you know, he been hungry, you know, give him a couple, of, you know, give him some food or something, snacks for real, like chips or something. What did he take to the scrap yard? Um, a furnace and um, who was he? At? I believe wire or something. Like a what? Wires or the um, the little uh, what do they call that? Um, the stuff that be like on top of the furnace, you know, like a little service piece that you can, that be like lead or something. Ain't really nothing. Okay. Did he have any kind of water heater or anything? Um, what do you think? Yeah. No, not this time. Not this time. Did he ever have one? On um, Thursday, 
when he came with another furnace. Another furnace? Yeah, he came with furnace Thursday. Well, Wednesday he had one too. So I'm thinking he's just taking it from the building that got on the fire. On Thursday? On um, Wednesday. That one thing he got all this from, like, all this stuff he came from the building, for real. Like, that's what I used to do. I used to buy um, shrimp from people just to double my money up anyway. Like, if the shrimp, if the shrimp comes to, like, $15, I don't give you, like, 7 And then... Are you employed? No. All right. Um, I'll, get, um, I'll be safe. I'm um, so, so kidding. Can I ask one? I have no idea. I've been receiving ever since I've been home. I believe 13 or something like that. 13? Yeah. Okay, so he took a furnace. Did he tell you, did he actually tell you where he got those furnaces from? No, well, I never even asked. I don't, I don't never ask for it. So you, in your interaction with, um, you call him, what, what do you call him? Big dog. Big dog. With, in your interactions with him and him being at your house, Tell me about his demeanor. Like, you know, like, you know. like how does he act? Does he like like sometimes like you see how I mean you talking right now, like how you talking like when you just having a conversation, mm -hmm. then like he just starts talking about something else after that though, like he's ever you know talking about something else, like real fast. Like like you like, yeah, that been crazy what happened today, like man, yeah, we walked to the store, we saw um this dog get hit by um a car. He like, yeah, I know how that be. And then he's ever changed the whole thing up to like, man, I used to be a beast back in my days, man. Like, um, I used to rob people this and that, with the, you know, steal cars. This, like, that way his mind's ever go out there. Another conversation we had, like. So you started to say, that's crazy what happened. What were you about to say? No, I'm talking about like, the crazy what happened, like, if a dog, like, I'm just making a point, like, if we get, like, We've been having a conversation like that lately. Crazy how that dog got hit by that car. He yeah. was like, Has he ever had any type of angry, anger issues that you know? Of? Not that I know of. Has he ever mentioned the little girl who was involved in that apartment? I never talked. Um, it was um, he left that Saturday. It's me and him that we had to talk. So that whole week before that she was missing, the week she was missing. That, um, you talking about that, like that Thursday she came up missing? It yeah. All right, not bad. No. That's, was it that Thursday? He didn't say nothing about it. I didn't know about it. Did nobody know about it. No, I know I didn't know about it. Okay. I found out that the little girl was missing on Friday. Okay. Did because you ever have a conversation with him about it? About Friday? On Friday? Any, any day uh, this with one, him? This one, what's it? The day uh, we, hit, we just had my, um, we about to go have my, um, my cousin-in-law move. Mm -hmm. So she came and picked us up while we driving down Kansas. I see the, um, I see this lady home fire, um, fire, fire, fire Fires with um, Flyers. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I hop out the car to go get one. He told me, give me one too. So I grab two. So we in the back seat. Um, I get him his. I'm looking like, I'm looking at the paper like, first thing out, for real. He's like, oh, I hope she okay. Then I didn't stop. Like, I swear, wow. You know, I got uh, my own daughter too, da da da. And I'm like, yeah, that's messed up. Me and my, me, uh, me and my um, I call her my best friend. That's my wife, um, cousin. I'm like, they me her. I'm like, that's crazy. I'm like, whoever did that, they gone for that, man. Like, you know, I'm mean, talking about how she missing. Like, she had to get it. Well, then we saw the house. Man, I'm talking too fast, man. That's okay. What did he say? Now, he just said, like, oh, that's messed up, man. He said, what he said? He said, that's messed up um, that she missing. I don't know. But on the on Friday, they say, last scene at McDonald's. I'm me and my best friend. I'm reading the things with my best friend. Like, she driving, so she can't read it. And my best friend, like, man, that's corny. You know, I'm, like, that's corny. Whoever did it, they you know, like, whoever took it, they need to be ashamed or whatever. Like, you see missing. So, everything you see missing, you think you know somebody took it. You talking about, yeah, that messed up. That, the heat in the back, talking about, my face of God, she's okay. She's all right, this and that. That the only thing he really signed. All right. So, where were you at that Thursday? What time? The, the Thursday, the 20th, January 25th. Just all day, do you? Twenty six. Do you remember? I might been at home all day. I wake up at like me. I wake up at like two o'clock, okay. like two seven o'clock. Uh -huh. Now I gotta wake up early now to so make sure 
Well, the bus driver don't want to stop in front of my house now. Now I gotta make make sure I get up on time to walk my dogs to the corner. Um, I got a list of stuff in here. So Wednesday, you when I when I first met you, I was at your house. You were telling me about a night. Tell me about that night. I was like Wednesday night. Um, like he said, he can, he um he about to get some wires, but he, he we didn't have no tools, no wire cutters, nothing for you can get the wire. And then he said, um. Let me see a knife or something. I gave him my knife. And he asked can you use my knife, so I gave him my knife to use. So you can get some wire down. Did he say where the wires were? No. I never, like, I always don't ask people where they get their wires from anyway. Like, like I said, that the only way I can make me a couple of dollars is just, you know, I buy, I buy a strap that what I do. Okay. Describe the knife to, to me that you gave him. I gave it to you. I know, but I need you to describe. Um, well, this gold at the top and bottom of it. This is a felt knife. And that would be a felt knife. A felt knife. This got a car on there, like a 65 car, and it says 65. Well, I forgot what else to say when that say something for that. Okay, how long is the blade? I don't know. Do you know about what time it was at night when, he get, when you gave him that knife? Twelve one, a.m. So it was. So it pretty much be Thursday then, right? So it was Thursday. Okay. What and you? He gave you the knife back. When did he give you the knife back? Um. Thursday. Three two, p.m. That when I bought the stuff from her. I bought the um the bag. I asked when he get. But I did ask when he get the tools from. Her. Well, I think about it, we just didn't have no tools before you can get any strap from it. Okay. So I asked him where he get the tools from. What did he say? He said he, um, he found it um, somewhere. I don't even remember what he said. Then I'm like, and then um, I literally had, I'm like, where my knife at? He's like, oh, this is the bag too. And then I just, um, he hand, he took it out of the bag and handed it to me, and I took it back where I, um, I know what happened upstairs in the room. Right. And you can't think of where he said he found the bag at. Uh, what do you don't know? Right. If you remember, please give me a call. You know I'm going to give you a call. Right. Okay. Do you remember what he was wearing? Oh, yeah. Hold on. Maybe you said something about that too. Look. But, you know, um, automatically, he kept saying his birthday um Sunday, right? Mm -hmm. He kept saying that. Then um that what was that? Two no, he been saying, was that? He been saying that Tuesday, his birthday Sunday, his birthday Sunday. Mm -hmm. He said, I look like a bum, man, I need I need some clothes, da, da, da. I was telling him like, you know I sell pants and shirts too for the um for five dollars each. Well, I told you I'm trying to get everything I can. Just to make sure it'll be cool. And then he like, all right, I'll holler I'm holler in a couple in a couple of days to buy it for me. So what day was this? So he came and got this um the outfit for me. He came and got some clothes for me Friday morning out my basement. And he um he said, I don't got the money right now, but I don't pay you. Um I'll pay you on Monday. No, on the third. I'll I'll pay you on the third. The third was the um Friday, right? He said, I'll pay you. Are you are you talking um the Friday after the little girl's missing or are you talking about I'm trying to find a calendar. Are you talking about um which Friday? The Friday when I moved my uh, my best friend. That was the day before, after, the day after um, the day after she came with Missy. Okay, so you were helping her cousin. Your best. You were helping um. Her cousin, yes. Yeah. What's her cousin's name? Shani. We call her Shani. So that was basically the day after um Aliana was missing. Yeah, well, we never moved Friday. Friday. Okay, so he came and got clothes. Yes. Well, she you, says she dirty and he dirty, he stank, and he about to wash up. And he needs to change his clothes or something like that. He didn't have money. Okay. He's but saying, before he bought the clothes, do you remember what he had on? Uh, like that Thursday, do you remember what he I mean, had on? I all, all know for sure he had two different kind of shirts. He had the black one. They both in black, what I'm thinking about. They both was black. One of them got, um, had like a little... A round thing right here, and it say city certified. 
Like that was the name of the studio was City Certified, mm-hmm. and we make shirts too. So mm-hmm. he had that one on, and he had another shirt. And he had another shirt with uh, say R. P. Arnie. Why wow, we made that too? Wow, um, and he had Arnie face on it. Arnie is spelled how? I have no idea. Okay. Were they t-shirts? Yeah, it was t-shirts. Did he have on any coat, boots, pants? Um, yeah, he has. He has. Uh, what is that like? They they wasn't town, but they were buzzers. Like brown boots, buzzers. Buzzers. Buzzer. Buzz. Like you see, I got my black ones on here. This buzz, like the buzzer kind, like the brown kind, the brown kind. I I don't know what you're talking about, but I um. They call them. I can't, even, it, I can't even announce it. That's what I'm saying. Okay. But it, they weren't, they looked like Timberlands? Yeah, they looked like Timberlands, but they, they ain't. All right. How how high were the boots? Were they ankle boots? Were they calf? Um, Can you show me? Like mine's. Just yours. So just to lift your pants up a little bit. So just like. Past the ankles. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then you can't have five um. No, then that Friday, um, his, his like like at the bottom of it, like right here, mm-hmm. was messed up now. Like they kept talking, no, talking. It wasn't messed up Thursday. Uh, I don't, I don't know. What he kept saying she was gonna mess up that day. Hey, you okay? I'm so, I'm in an interview. I'll call you right back. All right. I'm sorry. I'm... Turn that down. Okay. Did he tell you what happened to the shoe? No, he just said he just started messing up. He said that father. All right. Um. Then, um what kind of pants did he have on? Light blue ones. I was light blue ones, I believe, I'm not sure. Were they jeans, jeans. Do you remember what kind of coat he had on? Uh, um, he had like a blue coat on. What kind of blue coat? Long, short, waist one? Shoe, like the waist one. At the, he at the waist? He stopped right here on him, boom. But he either rock it like that or sometimes he rock it inside out. All the time, inside out? Sometimes. Most of the time, inside out. Um, that at night, I know he do. Why? I, saw him come, I don't know. I, I don't know. I thought it was because he don't want all the stuff to get on him when he's traveling or whatever. I don't know. Did you, was it inside out that particular day? What, what day are you talking about? The um, Thursday when you saw him. When you went to the shop yard? I don't know why um, go to the shop yard. Um, I believe so, yes. Okay. Did you notice any blood or anything? Any? Thing unusual on him? No. Why would he don't look at dudes like. No. Um, yeah. You notice he have any cuts, sores, injuries, anything? Nothing you notice. Alright. Um, He's been acting weak the whole five day. Like, when we have my, uh, my best friend move, he, he just kept saying, I don't know. He kept what? Kept on sitting down and everything. When we supposed to be moving, how we up and moving her out? He's in being lazy. Okay, so tell me about his work next door, cause he did some work next door. Yeah, yeah. Um, like the kitchen, like the on um, the ceiling field. So he had to take the shape all that out. Um, and put the job up, and uh, he wasn't no good worker to me, but I ain't a fan, so. Who owns that house? Um, like my parents own both of the houses, mm-hmm. but she giving it. Um, she gave the house to us, like Who's um, us? me and my brothers. What's your brother's name? One of them named. Um, he gave right now. That we all see him. Like two of them in jail went out. So this me and Ray. The only, me and Ray the only one out. Is Ray his full name? The Raymond. Brother? Raymond. What's his last name? Brockruff. Was was Beck with ever with him? Huh. Was Ray ever with him? Like what? At the house over there. Next yeah, like she was checking on his work and stuff. You ever like, known? You know why that parents who work in the house? You ever known um, Big Dog to drink alcohol or use drugs? Just. What kind of drugs? Um, I believe crack, and I think he do coke too. I ain't sure, and I know he drink. 
What's he drink? He do um read too. He drink liquor. I know that for sure. I don't know about beer. Do you ever see him um smoking or doing drugs? Yeah. Wait, when was that? Um, I saw him smoke some weed. And, um, I ain't trying to get you in trouble with no weed, so whatever you know. Oh, you no, know. I'm saying, like, like I said, I bought a strap, that whole thing. Mm -hmm. You smoking that? He ever black out weed. or act crazy no, or I told anything? You the only thing, he never act crazy. He's just talk, talking crazy. Like, how we having a conversation? Cause a conversation would go somewhere, somewhere else. Like, I'm mad that my wife didn't tell me that, um, what you've been saying when it was in the car. What was he saying? And he been saying, um, I just went, I just went to jail for mother. I ain't, I ain't going back. This and that, da da da. She just, I just found that out. I'm mad she been it to me. She says she said that brand thing. Yeah, she told me that at the house. Yeah, that I'm, I, she no, told I'm, I'm just mad that she been in tell me though. She been supposed to me stuff like she, that. She went to the scrapyard by herself with him on yeah. which day? Boogie. No, they both. Boogie. Boogie was like, I mean, third. That's okay. Boogie, your wife. And um, big dog all went. Yeah. In the van, you didn't go. Let's talk about the furnace. Mm -hmm. Who helped them move the furnace in the thing? The car. Who helped them put it in the car? Mm -hmm. Me and Boogie. At first, at Boogie. Um, I know I help him um take it off the um shopping cart. Oh yeah, shopping cart. And I'll put it down. Only way I, only way I help him take it off. If I, can, if I can look at everything he had for I can price everything to know how much I can give or what to give him for it. All right. Okay, so. so I gave him $15 okay. for everything he had. Like, I just knew everything was coming to like $30. Okay. Now this, this, this part might be a little unnerving, but I, I need to ask you. When I was at your house, you told me you had been in that house that the little girl was filed in before. Yeah. I need to know when. If it was that day, the day before, you know, whenever it was, I, I need the honest, the goodness, truth. I've been there, um, what? The first, um, the first time I went in there, um, I went in there and looked, did in the basement. Well, I didn't see no carpenter, so I'm like, somebody else hit it. So I just left. When was that? Um, that was a month ago. And then the other time I went in there, well, I was, um, and I look, um, I look, um, like in the bathroom this time. When was that? Um, that week. What day? Um, Wednesday. Wednesday. Who were you there with? I, I went by myself. So I went by myself just to see um, what is something in the bathroom just to see if there was no copper in there. Well, like sometimes when people um, go in the house and take the copper out of the basement, there still be something in the um, bathroom. So you went there the Wednesday before Aliana was out? Yeah, that Wednesday was Tuesday. Do you know of uh, Big Dog ever being in there? I am, I do. You've never been in there with him before? No, I haven't. He's never, have you ever told him about the house? I ain't told him about nothing. Do you think the house was, um, did he knew the house was empty? No, I think he would know that. He might there because everybody that um, lives on that street, you know somebody lived there when you put it. Did you go anywhere other than the bathroom on that first floor? Cause is, is your DNA gonna be found in there? Huh? Is your DNA gonna be found in that house? My DNA? No. You didn't, you didn't touch anything, you didn't, you, you, you've got to, I mean, I, you've got to speak up, you don't, you know, huh? you've got to say if it is going to be there. I, I doubt that it would be there, but I didn't, like, I didn't touch nothing. Like, I just been looking. sales fall. So. I just been looking to see if I see some, um, coppers in the bathrooms. What time Wednesday did you go? Um, I ain't sure. I know it was at um at night, like it gotta be like one again. That was say Wednesday. And, and 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 um Big Dog wasn't with you? No. Did you have a flashlight? I um, I got a flashlight on my key. A little um little thing. 
that you can just push and in the sink. You wasn't worried about anybody being in there? Huh? You wasn't worried about being in there? No. Did Big Dog tell you that he, he did anything to that girl? No. Did you see uh, um, anybody in there? No. Did you see any blood in there Wednesday? No, no. Did you walk through the dining room, living room? I didn't go in that room, living room. All right, so. That one thing I didn't go. I didn't, I went in. I went in the bathrooms. That's it. On oh, on oh, which? Cause it's the two. I know it's a two family house. So you went first floor bathroom or second? Both. Both. Okay. And were you in the basement that night? What night? What is that? Yes. I wasn't in the basement the last day. Well, I already knew wasn't nothing in there. Okay. Did you go in the house at all Thursday, Friday? Saturday? No. No. You never saw Ariana Aliana's body in there. No. Okay. And, um, big dog, did he ever tell you that there was a body in there or anything? No, ma'am. Okay. And you know, did, like, all the methods, like, I'm really, like, it's like her means it because it's just the way he's literally been playing with my kids, though. Okay. Did you do any harm to Aliana, the trees, or anybody that did? No. No, 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 no. I, um,. Over there. Oh. Can you do me a favor and see if that DeFreeze file is um, 1712 is on under this? Thank you. Alright, so Boogie. Yeah. Yeah, oh, Boogie got a problem right? I, I, I was just about to ask you that. What kind of problem does Boogie have? I don't know, you know, he just came out, like, when he been born, he came, I heard he came out small, he really, really was supposed to be here, you know, they had to cut him open and serve me and everything, so, mm -hmm. he kind of, like, off, not, like, crazy off, but, like, he need help with a lot of stuff off. Um, do you, did you know that, um, when they went to his trap yard, they were using his ID? Yeah. Yes. Why, why were they using his ID? Well, Big Dog said he didn't have no ID. Anything else you can tell me about? I wish I, I, wish I could see a lot of stuff. That, you know, I want to know everything. Man. I'm telling you everything I know. I wish I knew more, so really help me. Right. The, the bag of tools. The bag of tools, you said you went in there and got a knife. The other day you told me you got a screwdriver out of it. Huh? The other day when I was at your house, you told me you took a screwdriver out of that bag. Yeah, I've been using a screwdriver. And um, a knife. And other than that, you haven't been in the bag. Come on, my knife? The, the knife? No, he took the knife out and I took it upstairs. Okay, but when I was at your house, you said the only time you went in the bag was to grab a screwdriver. Yeah, to grab a screwdriver. Okay. So, you know, I had to move those a little for a screwdriver. When, when, um... Big Dog took the furnaces from the building. Were you there? No. Any other time? You, you were never there? No. I tell you, like, when I wake up, like, either, um, uh, I go to sleep at, like, Did you drop like, I, I, I just be up playing a game, and I go to sleep. My wife, like, wants to go to I'm tired. So we just go to sleep, go to sleep. I don't wake up till, like, 2 or 1, maybe sometime 3. Were you aware that some man talked to your daughter that morning? No. When did you find out? You talking about when they um, when she went walking and mm -hmm. the dude said, "Your mama." I found out the next day. Why they really don't like telling me stuff because they know how we act. All right. Were you aware that she saw um, Big Dog on the porch the morning? Um, on yeah, they told me that. They told me that other day. Talking about Big Dog said, "Go ahead and just walk. I'll watch and make sure you good." Has he ever asked a stranger around your kids? No. How many children do you have? I have three. For I now, it's one of it. I have two girls and one boy. <laughs> but I have four girls and one boy. <laughs> Good luck with that. But, um, and you said he's played with your kids he's played before. with my kids. Yeah. He does. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. He's been playing with my kids. Okay.
Huh? Like he playing, he been playing with my kids, playing with it. Man, that's the, man. Then he been playing with my Shannon kids. That stuff hurtful. Who, Shannon is my your- My best friend. Her sister. I don't have cousin, but they call it the sister. Has um, anybody else that you know um, played with, I mean, had any dealings with um, Big Cow? Except for Will. Will don't do it the owner of the building. He the one that they drop him off. That drop him off. And pick him up. That's how that. You know that church on the corner got video? Huh? You know that church on the corner has video? What church? The church right there on the corner of Fuller. Mm -hmm. You think that video? That's Will right there. Hmm? Huh? I just saw Will. Like, Will was like, Will the one that picked him up that Saturday. Like, he kept trying to make my wife and Shani take him. He's talking about, I'll pay y'all $15, $20 to take me to the spot. Which spot? I'll um, take, um, take him to his girl house first, like in Garfield or something like that. Garfield or Clinton Heights. Has anybody ever taken him anywhere? No. Never driven him anywhere. I know. I, I didn't take him nowhere. I, wanted, I, wanted, I, wanted, I hate driving. So you never, you never took him out of, took help him take anything out of um, the items that he took to the scrapyard. You never helped him take any of those items because I don't care if you took a furnace out of the the of a house. I, I'm homicide. I'm dealing with. I know, I know you're dealing you with. That, know the so but, uh, you've never helped him take anything out, and you were in the house the day before, but you just went in the bathroom. And then you were in the house a month before. Yeah. You don't remember seeing any blood or seeing any body or only thing, the only thing I saw when I went in there is like that um that month ago. It's not like nothing for real. Like you saw some hammers right there when you walked in there. Like you gotta see why you gotta go in the basement. You saw some hammers right there. And you said, Oh somebody somebody already hit the house before me. Well, I wasn't anybody hit it, I was about to see how many hit it and then just get somebody else to do it and pay it on. They have for them. What well, the bathrooms? Describe the bathrooms. Like what? Um, there was nothing in it, but like a sink. No, not the sink. The sink on the toilet and the um tub. All right. Where is the bathroom? Where? In that house. Where is the bathroom? Walk in and turn left. You walk in and you turn left? Yeah. So you are you saying you walk into the bathroom? Like I guess the kitchen and the bathroom together. Okay. I think that's Where's the upstairs one? Oh how, how do you get upstairs first of all? The stairs in the basement is next to the cellar. Next to the what? Like the basement stair like you walk in and you keep straight. The basement right there, and on the stairs right there. Okay, and where's the bathroom upstairs? I think in the same spot. You know anybody else who knows Big Dog other than Will? Technically, everybody saw Big Dog. Everybody, like, some people might know Big Dog. Like, I know Big Dog. Know him, but don't know him. When, when, I mean, when everybody, like, this couple people told me that he one that used to live upstairs on the ice cream. I mean, the, um, the one building right like there. Which building? Yeah, the one three, right next door from that building that got caught on fire. When when he bought the clothes for me, from he didn't have the money. He said, "You don't know, pay me on the third. Did he change right then? And he went next door and bought shit up and changed. Next door and then, where? Um, the house he been working on. They have water over there. Yes. But you had to go, I think he got to go in the basement or something, so we'll do it, you know, do it. What did he do with the clothes that he had on? I have no idea. You have no idea. Who was there that day? I don't know. I didn't go next door. I think my uncle was. And your uncle's name is? Look at that. What did your wife tell you that he said to her? That, um, that Wednesday? Yeah. Oh, she... 
She said that Wednesday. He said uh, he kept trying to um, open her door. He, um, he unlocked the door, you know, unlock it. But he, she kept locking her story. Like he's like, he kept unlocking. He's like, she like, don't unlock my door. Leave your door unlocked. Unlock mine. And um, he said, yeah, I just, you know, I don't like locked doors. I've been in jail um for so long. I don't like locked doors. And some stuff like that. Tell him I, I just came home from the um from mother. I ain't going back to jail. Did you tell you what murder? No, he told her that, um, that what he said to her. Yeah. She's, I told you, I just found out about that for real. All right. Anything else you can think of that I might need to know? No. Um, Boogie, he went to the scrapyard both times? Yes. And the scrapyard is where? Oh, Adler. And you were telling me there were two scrapyards? Yeah. It's a big one, but the big one is mostly for um like when you buy to sell your car or for the eighteen river, you know, the eight big trucks. You got that that for the big one for the little one for like little stuff. So you guys went to the little one? They went to the little one, yeah. Did they did they take everything that you guys had? I'm thinking. Mm, no, but it's some um Power bus, um, like a power bus thing is in the driveway. They forgot the driveway was in. I went to work where the bus at. In the driveway? In the driveway. Your driveway? Yeah. Okay. Only way I know that because, you know, when it been raining yesterday, all the snow, like, disappeared. So, I'm yeah. You share driveway with your, um, the house your uncle lives in? Huh? You share a driveway with the house your uncle lives in? Yeah, this is just my driveway, though. Okay. So his house doesn't have a driveway? No. Yeah. Okay. That's about it. Yeah. Well, anybody know Big Dog? Whoever said they don't know, they know. Everybody knows Big Dog. Right? So he's been around that neighborhood for only a year? Man, no, I said, I just really, like, really saw him myself. This is the first time I met him, it was a year ago. But ain't like, we've been kicking it every time he see me, it was up. Every time. My mom really told me I need to start being the more nice people because. I know we just don't say nothing to nobody, just me mug everybody, so nobody don't talk to me. Why you me mug? Not me mug, that's, that's my face. I don't like seeing, uh, I don't like um, people seeing me smile. Why like they see me, if they see you smile, then when they want to stop speaking to you. Mm-hmm. All right, well I have your swabs already. You don't have a cell phone? No. Mm-hmm. When you, when you were talking about boots, you said butters. Are you talking about butters? Yes. Butters. I can't. I can't. I think I can't pronounce that. Butter. I to, butters are. I have to like speak. Temper. Yeah, but it wasn't no Thames. And like they that, were, five, that five day, he said I need to go to Walmart. If I can steal me some more boots. Steal me some boots and a bill. Well, we never went to Walmart. Well, I've been moving my best friend, and you know I wouldn't mind taking you to Walmart. And when you say brown, you don't mean like those tan ones. Yeah, the tan ones. I'm sorry. Tan. Yes. All right. This is me. I don't care about clothes and shoes and stuff, so I'll leave. I don't know. All right. Are you legally married? Yes. When did you get married? Um, 2010, August 14th. All right. And um, your your daughter ever say that she, what's your daughter name? One. The, the night. Oh, um, Shayla. Her uh, name La Shayla. Did she ever tell you that she saw him any other day on that Thursday on the porch when she was going to school? When she was going to school? Mm-hmm. Um, no, I uh, no. Like she, like my uncle, no would be the first one out anyway. But my uncle said every time he came downstairs, she'd be gone. And your uncle is love at. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's it. I thought it chilled. You okay? Yeah, I thought it. I thought it. Came no, over. it's both the so different like, grounds. So you know, you know, we try to move it back like yeah, that. Yeah, we have head. suspects. <laughs> so it's bolted to the ground. We don't want them throwing it at us. So it's bolted.